So it's actually to their benefit to point out, if you work for the DEA, you're evil. Stop it. If you work for the ATF, you're committing evil. Stop it. If you work for the IRS, or the CIA, or the NSA, or the TSA, or the DHS, I could go on all night, but I won't, your job is inherently evil because what you do is initiate violence against innocent people. That's not okay. And nothing will ever make it okay, and people should be in their face day and night saying what you're doing is wrong. Thanks for asking, brother. And, and, and what, can I ask you one question? What part of the Constitution are you upholding? I'm upholding, and I'm hoping that you're what part going to of the join me by the time First Amendment. <laughs> Now, every once in a while, a, a, a cop will say, well, we protect people. You know, if I go out in the street and save a little old lady from a purse snatcher and then come home and beat my wife, I'm still not a good person. I think it's pretty clear who's being ridiculous. Whoa! Watch it, buddy. Whoa, that is... You do not do that. If a cop occasionally defends an innocent person and then turns around and initiates violence against an innocent person, and I just described every cop in the world, he is not doing good. Sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. That's not good enough. When you hear the propaganda from the government, they want you to think that they are all-knowing and all-powerful. They know everything. They're spying on everybody's email. On, they know every movement everybody makes. They have a big list of everybody who, who doesn't like them. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people in the freedom movement who actually help that propaganda accidentally by overestimating the power and the ability and the competence of those in government. The truth of the matter is, when you see them diving for police state garbage, when you see them trying to jump to totalitarianism, there's only one reason they do that. Because they're weak and they're scared. And they huff and puff and look big and bad, and they can, in individual cases, they can send in a couple dozen heavily armed thugs to deal with, you know, a hundred unarmed protesters, and they look really big and bad in that crowd setting. But if you back up and see the actual numbers, you understand why they're terrified. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen the, the video, The Tiny Dot, if you look that up on YouTube, as one example, it, it shows the difference between the number of federal extortionists, all the employees for the IRS, and the number of people they robbed. And it's, when you see it, it's just ridiculous how imbalanced it is, how much power we have. Now, if one of us says, I'm not going along with it, then they look big and bad, because there's 100,000 of them. If a hundred million of us say, yeah, we're done, we're not playing your game anymore, there's nothing they can do. So they rely completely on the illusion that they're big and bad and powerful, when in reality, when you just look at the numbers, they're not. If the people want freedom, if they understand what it is, they can get it without any election, without any revolution, just ignore them out of existence. But most people cannot imagine that because, in, including a lot of people in the freedom movement, because they imagine that the government knows everything and can do everything. It really can. And one of the big things, I, um, I can't remember the names of all the programs, Echelon, and all the things that are trying to spy on all the emails, and so what? Let's say they actually have that, which they may very well, I don't know, I'm sure they would if they could. So what? So somewhere there's a little, club of bureaucrats in a basement somewhere looking at 20 million emails saying we think the government sucks. What are they going to do about it? That's not a reason to not say what you think, it's a reason to say what you think twice, and twice as loud. They, the fact that they're watching you is a better reason to say it again, including to them, than it is to shut up. Because you are helping the impression that they are all-knowing and all-powerful if you back down and don't say what you think because they say we're watching you.